Hi everyone! I'm super, 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 super excited because today I have got my first Silk Olive Morocco wig. It's the Victoria wig, so I'm going to lift it up and give you a look. It's a synthetic wig, but how beautiful does this look? The colour is absolutely amazing and it is soft. It is a beautiful soft wig. So I cannot wait to check out these human hair ones and see just how much softer they are. But these wigs are just beautiful. And I love this colour. It's got this beautiful root stretch design and it has this beautiful lilac finish. So I can't wait to try it out. Now they also have, obviously your wig caps, they come in a packet of two for about $15 and they come in nude or black. And they have the wig stand, and I think that one is 25. Let me just double check for you. No, the wig stand's 20, and the wig brush, I believe, was 20 as well. So, wig stand's $20, wig brush is 25, and then the packet of two nude caps, whether you want black or you want your nude, is 15. So, I'm very, very excited. I I've just got all my info, so I'm learning to um, have a play with it today and see what we can do with it. Now, we can't colour the wigs because they are synthetic, so please don't colour your wig. However, we can cut. Now, unless you know what you're doing, please go to a hairdresser or somebody that's specialised in cutting wigs who knows what they're doing because you don't want to ruin it this wig. Now, so I have the colour... Yeah, I've got the colour lilac. So this is a little colour chart here. And depending on the wig style that you are looking at on the website, so for example, we've got Sophia, we've got Ella, we've got, what's that one? Victoria, which I have, and Bella. Bella looks like this one here, which is just beautiful. I love the colour of this one, one of my absolute favourites. Again, a root stretch design. So when you click on each wig type, it will show you the colours that are available. So what I can see here is the Sophia, you either have the curly design or the straight design, comes in 24 inches with the root stretch design colour, they're $295, the Victoria one that I just showed you, the little concave one uh, in the lilac is 12 to 15 inches because it's like a tapered concave bob there, uh, that's $275 and the last blonde one, Bella, that's 16 inches they're all pre-styled um, with the root stretch design for $275. So I'm going to just chuck my little wig on here. Now they do come with a lace parting. I'm just going to give you a bit of info before I do that. Get too excited, getting too ahead of myself. So just a little bit of info for everybody. They're made from a premium curable natural fibre. Now I was just reading it, the synthetic hair is made of top quality Futura, so Japanese and Uno, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing this correctly, Korean curable fiber from Indonesia. It's a type of high grade synthetic uh, fiber that can be heated up to 180 degrees. So even though they come heat styled, you can style them. Whatever your heated appliance you're gonna use on them, do not go past 180 degrees. Keep it as low as you can, and I believe that will make your wig last a lot longer. We don't wanna be damaging the hair. Now, can be styled, which we just said. They can be trimmed as well, which I've just said. Both have a lace front and part to promote a natural looking finish. Now, let's have a look here. Okay, so basically it's almost like making it undetectable. It has an invisible hairline and when worn properly, gives the illusion that the wig is actually growing out of your own head. Lace front wigs have many benefits, such as being lightweight, breathable, stretchy, more comfortable and more natural looking. So that's a big polish. Plus, plus, plus. Uh, they're made using a small sheer lace panel. Be this stuff here. Along, along the front hairline attached to the front of the wig, the hair strands are sewn into the holes of the lace, while the rest of the wig cap is made out of strong, durable material that we will not tear. So that's pretty cool. Now, when you want to look after your wig, use this type of brush here. Use your wig brush. Um, avoid using a metal wide brush or comb because that's going to, sorry, you want to use, <laughs> I will start that again, use a metal wide tooth brush or comb. Uh, never use a bristle or plastic one as this tends to build static electricity and we want to again care for the longevity of our wigs, we want to really look after them. Um, if you want to wash your wig when necessary, use it 
in cold water uh, using this Silk Oil of Morocco Argan Intense Moisture Shampoo. Don't brush your wig when it's wet either. When you want to store it, either put it back onto your wig stand or you can lay it flat. Don't fold it up and for extra protection you can put it back inside its uh, wig net that comes with your purchase as well. Now I think, I'm just scrolling over here, I think that is everything. Right, so when you first get your wig, you'll notice that there's this extra little bit of lace. When you put it on, it tends to hang right down here. You just want to cut that off right up to the hairline. You don't need that little bit. Now, when you want to put your wig on, if you've got hair, unlike me at the moment while I'm going through treatment, I don't have any hair here. So if you've got hair like me or even really short hair, you could possibly just put this on your head without having to tie your hair up in a bun out of the way. Then you want to put your wig on, leave your ears out obviously, and make sure you're just sort of covering your hairline just up here. So some people might have it a bit higher, some people might have it a bit lower. Just go with your natural hairline. Now, I'm just going to take this off my stand. And I generally tend to turn them inside out. Now you've got little combs in here as well. So if you've got hair, you'll find that these combs are gonna get into the hair and give you that little extra bit of hold. Depending on your head size and shape, there are these little adjuster bits, sorry, at the back here. So you can adjust them to however large or small that you wanna make it. So the way I put these wigs on, is you wanna find these little corner bits here. So these bits here, are what's going to go in front of your ears. So I'm just going to sort of tip my head down into this, pull that in front of the ears, and then pull it the back bit down. Okay, and we're going to need our brush. Now I'm just going to pull this and smooth this out. Now you can see my wig cap here. So that's when I'm just going to pull this up and just stick that out of the way. That's better. I personally like a fringe with my um, wigs because I feel like I'm all like forward without it. Just feels weird when I don't have a fringe happening there. So I am going to cut a fringe into this one as well. And you just give it a nice little brush, settle all that hair down. And that feels like that's pretty good, nice and secure. How pretty does this look? So I'm very excited. I actually want to shape a little bit around here as well. So um, when I get into it, I will be marking out a little bit of a fringe at a time, chopping it in and seeing how that sits. Now, I'm going to show you the Bella wig and that one already pre-cut the fringe in. So you can see why I prefer the fringe and that you can actually trim them. But again, if you don't know what you're doing, Go and see someone who does. Because these won't grow. <laughs> right, so I'm just going to put this one on. Pull that down here. This is one of my favourite colours as well. I like a wig if I'm going to be wearing it to look like it's doing something. Watch your combs. So you want to lay them flat as well. You don't want them digging into your head. So make sure you're laying that flat and those bits are coming in front of the ears there, those corners. How cute is this? See why I like my fringe? I think it is absolutely adorable. So you could even, if you wanted to, Pull a few bits down so you still have enough around your hairline. And you can just pull this back and you'll be able to clip it. So you can style these as well. You want to give it a nice loose, loose look. I thought that was quite cute. And they feel very, very comfy. Now, for me, I would actually put on a wig cap that might be just a little bit thicker because I still get a little bit itchy. So they come in a pack of two, whip another one on. Right, now, 
Let's go back to this one here and let's see how we go about trimming in a fringe. I just want to line this up properly because you're only going to get one go at this. So I think I would pull it back to about there and then I would add in my fringe. Yeah. Got everything out apart from my scissors, of course. Rightio. So I'm just going to look in the mirror while I'm doing this. See how this is going to fall. So I'm just mapping out, seeing how that's going to fall down. I might take that back. I didn't like the way that was falling down. Okay, and now what I want to do is start longer because I tend to find that um, these type of wigs bounce up a little bit and you can always take more off, but you can't put it back on. Let's just take that off first. It's obviously a bit easier when you are doing it on somebody else. <laughs> and generally, um, I would actually get somebody to wear the wig for me. But I quite like how this is going to soften off that front corner as well. So let's get in here. Let's just see how we're gonna go. Hopefully we've got enough time on that video. And expect these to jump as well guys so if it springs out don't worry because we have to get the straightener onto it and we have to restyle it where we want it to okay now i'm just going to pause this and turn my straightener on all right so i have my silk straightener on 170, no, I don't, 150, so the lowest possible I can. I've heated it up. Now, what I want to do is get it and bring it down. This is good, I don't actually have to wet this one down. Sometimes you might have to wet them down and um, dry them more into shape, but this one looks like it's actually going to sit where I'm styling that, so that is really good. Now, I'm going to get more of an idea of where this is going to sit. So now I'm going to come in through here and just start to come down. Let's have a look here. And I like mine to sort of angle down, so I don't like it. I like to blend, if that makes sense. I'm just going to slowly angle that up. So you can see we're starting to get a little bit of a shape here. So I'm trying not to look, go too far into the mirror because I want to make sure you guys can see this. Now I reckon I can lift that up a little bit more. Let's just see how we go. Yeah, I think just a smidge. And then that's going to be my guide for the rest of the hair. 
So just allow for a little bit of bounce with the wigs as well. Love all the hair coming on here. And a really obviously very important tip is to make sure you actually have it where it's supposed to be sitting. One time I thought I had a, uh, a wig on right and it actually had a side part and um, I had cut it to the wrong um, level. So then my fringe actually went down like that instead of a straight fringe. So make sure you have got the wig, the wig sitting on correctly. All right, let's let the next one come down. So again, a little bit of hair here. Slow is the key. Don't go crazy. Don't go rushing into it because once it's chopped off, it is chopped off. It's so funny because I haven't had to use my straightener or my scissors on myself for such a long time. I haven't had any hair since November last year. So I am definitely, definitely looking forward to this coming back and growing back and now I can have a play with some beautiful wigs. And let me know what's your favorite guys. I'll make sure I pop um, the link down below. Now. I'm just gonna push that out of the way so I can see. There's my guide. And I reckon I will wet it down where the part is here so that you're pulling that part line back out. checking sorry hair all over my face and on my lip gloss as well it doesn't help that I'm sweating inside as well it's probably making my wig a little damp that's gonna sit really good now what way is this wig hair gonna go okay So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to slightly wet this down because I want this part to go out and I'm just going to trim this other bit in and I will be back. Okay, so this is where I, where I am currently. I've just let a piece I was going to cut drop down because you want to check that it's going to be blending into your hairline properly or the rest of the hair, sorry. And you want to watch the way the big hair is going to fall. So you kind of want to spread it across. And I will wet this down and work that in straighter. But for now, I'm getting a nice level here. I'm just going to cut this section up. You can see it's starting to come nicer. So when you let this go, it's going to blend really well. I'm going to chop out a little bit more in the corner and just softly, I think, take off this harsh line through here. So I'm going to do that and I will be back to show you the end result. So you want to that little part down. So I've just let it down to try and dry it in shape. So I will be back once that's done. 
All right, guys, this is my finished result. So I, what I did was wet it down here, blow dried it, but didn't have the hair dryer too close to it because um, you don't want too much heat. So pulled it back down, re-straightened it through, and I've just gone with the way the hairline on the wig wants to sit. So some of these bits come forward this way. And I've just went back through, chipped into it, kept it a bit soft as well, giving it a bit of a spray, just to make sure that that part there doesn't want to separate.